So a lot of you guys know that a while back I modified my Propulse 200 to accept a push-pull gun and um, I had it out at SV Seeker in Oklahoma and I was welding on the boat with it and it worked out pretty well and um, I had to install a control board and you have to match the speeds of the push motor and the pull motor so it all works in sync and um, a lot of people think push-pull gun is like the answer to every question out there. I mean, it, it will cure anything and everything. You can be a bad welder. It'll even help you with erectile dysfunction, everything. I mean, a push-pull gun is just where it's at. And it's just not. I mean, every tool has a purpose. Push-pull guns work awesome when you are in a manufacturing environment and you build boats for a living, you build trailers for a living. You have this all set up dedicated but if you do field service work and you have to um, have the torch cable routed a certain way and don't forget you're still feeding wire through that torch cable sometimes for those field service jobs a spool gun can just be a lot handier so here i'm showing you a couple clips of a video that i recorded earlier this year i just haven't had really time to um, publish this and um, it'll show you like the real deal, the real expectations, um, how many tips you're going to go through, how practical it really is, how it's all going to work out. And um, it was a pretty windy day. I apologize for the audio. Don't cry in the comments how there's wind noise. I know this. I can't do nothing about it. So uh, look at this if you want to and uh, enjoy. There. So anyway, the power comes from here fan was up there to suck some fumes out and uh, let me show you what we did up there all right those two tankers both have the same problem that baffle on the inside here so that baffle is totally cracked because there's not a good H reinforcement on there. And we welded this from both sides. So what we did is we opened that back one, back hatch, put a fan drawing air up. So while we're welding in there, nobody gets uh, suffocated by the fumes. The bottoms are open as you can see so it's drawing air from the bottom out the top nice cross flow going not too much so let's talk about expectation I use the push pull gun here's the aftermath so I want to say the right equipment it's like $1,800 push pull gun and I consider myself a semi-skilled welder at least. By the time that you run 035 wire and you bend that push-pull gun three ways from Sunday and your settings are not perfect, on aluminum welding always expect to go through a few tips. Sometimes for a job like this, a spool gun is just handier. Push-pull guns are nice if you do stuff like on a bench in a shop, or you weld some big weldment and you can put that gun, the excess cord, in a nice big loop. As soon as you have sharp turns, you better run a pretty thick wire, at least 364th, or you just better go to a spool gun. So here, the same deal. Perfectly smooth babble baffle, a perfectly smooth baffle, well at the crack up, the yeah, 30 foot gas holes go to the profiles, and then the push pull gun, and this is the tiny hole, my fan is squeezes through but it all works out just fine. So I will show you guys a little bit. I will show you guys a little bit how to uh, 
run that push-pull gun and what it's about on the bench out of the weather it's about 33 degrees here I gotta get back inside